and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. If so, you can subscribe. The button is down below. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my end of the year empties. So I didn't do an empties video in November because I wanted to save as many as I could and I just didn't have that many empties for my end of the year empties. So I'm really excited to be bringing you some empties today. So yeah, I'm not really gonna go into many details. I'm just gonna get right into it. Super excited to talk about empties, my faves. So I used up a few sheet masks. The first one is from Trader Joe's. It's the Rich Hydrating Face Sheet Mask. I really like this. It was very hydrating um, and stuff. I used this quite a few weeks ago, but it had chamomile extract in it, honey, hyaluronic acid, Camellia oil, rosehip oil, green tea extract, turmeric extract, blue algae extract, and propolis extract, which I have no idea what half of that stuff is, but this is super hydrating and I did like it. I don't know if I would purchase again or if I wouldn't purchase again. It was nice. It's not, I don't know. I love sheet masks, but like, I don't know. I have a love-hate relationship with them. Like, I really do love them, but like some of them I'm like, ugh. But like, I did really like this. And if I was on a whim and I wanted sheet mask, I'd probably buy this, but it's not something, something I would like consistently repurchase. And then another one I got an Ipsy bag. This is from the Cream Shop. This is a Snowman Story sheet mask. This is like one of their limited edition holiday ones. And I've never tried anything from this brand from what I can remember down um, yet, which I'm really excited, which I was excited to. And this is like a really nice, she mask. I did really enjoy this one. Like I thought it was really like just nice. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but this one had hyaluronic acid in it, glycerin, and jeju mineral water. And this is this is the most hydrate. This is the most hydrating essence she mask, which I really liked, and it just really did hydrate my skin. And I honestly would consider repurchasing like a pack of these because it was nice and it's made in Korea. We know the Koreans know what they're doing with their skincare because they're like I had like twenty or thirty years of skincare, honestly. Then I used up just a general like normal stick of deodorant. This is Secret Clean Lavender. This is my favorite scent, but I've been using natural for a while. So I don't think I would repurchase this. Natural is just a lot better. I used up my CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. This is like the uh, one cleanser that works for my skin personally. And I know it's not quality free, but it's what I choose to use. Um, and it's better to like be good to your skin than to use something cruelty free and be bad for your skin if that makes any sense whatsoever. But I have repurchased this and I love it. Also from Trader Joe's, I used the Trader Joe's Watermelon Facial Mist. I'm actually going to save this bottle because I have another, um, facial mist thingy that like the sprayer is just not working, but I don't. I would not repurchase this. I'm actually trying to go off of all these facial masks. I don't really find they really do much. I'd rather just get myself a toner, but I am going to save this for that reasoning. And I used up my toothpaste, which is the Crest 3D White Radiant Mint. I love this like flavoring of toothpaste. It's my favorite like minty toothpaste, but I do kind of like the charcoal in like just regular toothpaste one, like the mixed one. I think that's that one's actually a better toothpaste. And I feel like it really just whitens your teeth better. But it also just like, I don't know, it's just great. It's not like a fully charcoal toothpaste, which I like, but it's not like, it like just cleans your teeth. And I like the feeling of that. So I don't think I would repurchase this specific one, but I'm just gonna keep using what I'm using. And then from The Ordinary, I definitely need to repurchase this, but this is their Sicilic Acid 2% Mask. I, I'm, a, I'm obsessed with this. I love Ordinary products and this mask was super nice. I actually used this up a while ago, so I definitely need to repurchase this. I love The Ordinary so freaking much. And um, this is really good mask. If you struggle with like acne or even just hormonal breakouts like I do, hormone this is definitely one to get it's just amazing and you use it like once a week and it just works wonders for your face i used up the saturday skin rub-a-dub refining peel facial solution i remember this being a very gentle exfoliant and i did kind of like it i mean i don't not i kind of went towards the chemical exfoliant route so i don't think i'd repurchase this but it was nice to try this I know went bad. This is from Trader Joe's, the Roche Facial Oil. This like, 
I know went bad. The coloring was weird and this is not something I would repurchase. I like my Sunday Riley oil better that I got for, for a good deal on Ipsy. So I definitely won't repurchase that, but I, but I do know it went bad. <laughs> Else I know went bad because it smelled terrible. It's this Rada Rosehip oil. I used to be obsessed with this stuff. Um, this definitely went bad. Um, so I wouldn't repurchase this. I feel like I just don't go through this big of an oil. It's just four fluid ounces and stuff. And I just don't prefer rosehip over the oils that I'm currently using. So wouldn't repurchase. Also used up the Clinique Take the Day Off Bomb. I don't really prefer this. It has like plastic in it, so no bueno. Used to love this stuff, but I actually prefer one from the drugstore. So that's fun, but wouldn't repurchase that. Also the Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer. This is also not cruelty free, um, but this was really nice. And I was like, supposed to be like different than their Ultra Repair Cream. It's a moisturizer. It's supposed to just give you hydration and be great for under makeup. And I did like it, but wouldn't repurchase. This Glam Glow Glow Starter Illuminating Moisturizer. I really like this, but I probably wouldn't repurchase because Glam Glow is hella expensive. But it was a really nice, like, moisturizer. It was very glowy and just beautiful. Then I used up this Bobbi Brown Vitamin Rich Face Base. I didn't like how scented this was. This was also my Roulette Project Pants, so you know I used that up if you're up on that video. But it just smells too fragrance to me and I wouldn't really purchase anyways. It's Bobbi Brown. Then I used up my conditioner. This is the Herbal Essence Poteen Aloe and Mango um, So I wouldn't really purchase this. It's technically the curl formula, um, but that really doesn't mean much to me. But I wouldn't really purchase. I just and love it. I just have some makeup samples to talk about. I used up the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I don't really love this powder. I used to like it, but I just think it made my skin look too dry. So I definitely wouldn't repurchase that. And then the it Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores powder. I used this baby this deluxe size sample. I am currently still using this because I got another sample of this and I'm using it. So I love it. This powder is actually really nice. I think it makes my skin look super smooth and I'm debating honestly buying the full size eventually. Honestly, if they had an Ipsy, I probably would most likely do that. But I did really like it and I think it's a really nice powder. I've actually used this quite a bit over the years. Like I've always gotten deluxe samples of it and I've always used them and it's pretty nice. And then I used up the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Creamy Concealer. I like this concealer, but I don't know if I'd repurchase. I like the e.l.f. Camo Hydrate a lot better, I'm thinking. So I don't know if I'd actually repurchase, but it was nice to use and try out. I think I've only used it one time around this time <laughs> and I don't think I'd repurchase. And then the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. I've also used this up um, and stuff. It kind of just dried out. This is what the wad looked like. It reminds me a lot of the Too Faced Better Than Sex. I really did like this mascara, but I don't know if I'd repurchase. I'm kind of like a drugstore mascara girl. I mean, when you can get a mascara for under $10, what's the point of spending more money in my opinion? Like I feel like they all basically do the same thing. So there's that. Okay guys, I forgot about this, but I used up the Sand and Sky Australian Pink Mask. I got this in Ipsy and I also have another one I'm almost done with, but I don't know. I really like this. I think it's really expensive, so I don't think I'd repurchase, but I wish, but if it were ever like on a deal on Ipsy where I could get a full size, I might, I just might. But yeah, these are all the um, products I've used up for the end of the year. I'm sure there'll be more when January comes or rolls around. I'm very close to finishing a lot of different things, but I did want to film this video obviously early on in 2021 or early later in 2020 for early 2021. So I'm not like posting this like too, too late. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.